We've seen how to create uh, simple contour maps inside Surfer and how easy it is uh, to create uh, grids and we've covered some of the advanced grading techniques. Now you can not only create simple contour maps inside Surfer but you can also create uh, 3D surface maps and to do that you go to the same menu and you, go, you pick 3D surface and 3D surface. And now we are going to use another uh, grid that we've generated. Uh, we've covered already how to create these grids. And we are going to use this one and click on open. And you can see that instantly you will have a 3D looking map. Now all you have to do is to play around with the different parameters that we have to get the look that you want based on your needs, of course. So the first thing that I want to do is let's go and change the layout of this page so because you can see that if we keep it like this we can't actually have a color scale in here we don't have a place for that so to do that we go to layout and orientation and change it from portrait to landscape and now you can click on the map and put it in the center or you move it to the left a little bit so you, you uh, have some space in here to put in uh, other things okay so in the contents uh, panel in here, you can see that we have the map, that's the, the whole map. And inside that map, we have these axes in here. So you can hide one of the axes or, um, you know, take one of them. And we have the 3D surface uh, map that we've generated here. And we have uh, different parameters. So if you pick this one and in the properties panel in here, you can see that we have uh, five additional panels. The general one in which we have uh, the grid file in here, this option, you can uh, save the grid, the grid that we've already imported to create this 3D map. You can save this to another location. You can open another grid to load it as a 3D uh, map, or you can see some of the infos for that grid that you've already loaded in here okay so if you want to see the color scale the different what is the this color what does this color represents what this color represents so you can pick uh, the show color scale in here and you have a scale bar that shows different colors and uh, what is the value for that specific color in here okay so uh, that's why we've uh, put this in the layout to be uh, landscape because we need these kind of things in here when you are going to export this map okay so uh, another thing we have in here that says show layers so this one is actually uh, some sort of a 3d color map generated from different values but what if we want to see like the uh, satellite image on the top of this one if we have uh, a georeferenced image that have the same coordinates and that they are stored inside of that image so all we can do is to go to base and import that as a base map and it's going to be placed on the top of this one and this option is actually whether we want to see that uh, layer or that map on the top of this one or not so by default it's set to show layers but since we don't have we can uh, turn that off now we have the material colors so it's the same thing for the uh, contour map so you can uh, change this to whatever color you want and of course you can always uh, click on this custom color map and change the colors to whatever you want so let's for example change this to yellow and click on OK and this will update automatically okay and you can also play around with these you can change this for example to I don't know red for example but this is not going to affect this because we don't have uh, the lowest value is actually not visible in here so uh, let's set that to black again and we have the no data method in here so what are the values that uh, if we have them we're not going to show anything it's set to don't draw but you can 
remap to a specific value in here if you change that to remap to there's another option that says remap value you can change this value to whatever you want and it's going to set that to no data okay now we have the base you can see that for uh, the moment the base is showing nothing so we have a uh, transparent uh, view in here so you can uh, tick show base and you can see that we have some sort of a solid in there with a the color you can play around with the lines in here so you can change that to like red for example you can see that they are red right now and you can change the fill property if you go to here and change this maybe to uh, black so this option is actually useful when you have uh, different layers and you want to see some sort of a thickness between uh, between them so it's gonna be some sort of uh, uh, you know a geological model okay so that's it for the general tab if you go to the mesh tab right now and this is actually created based on some X and Y coordinates we can show the lines for these X and Y coordinates and you can increase the frequency of these lines you can either increase it or decrease it and the offset the surface offset is set to one you can change that uh, to whatever you want you can play around also with the line properties so change this for example to a different color and play around with the opacity and it's up to you and up to your needs and why you're doing this okay so let's hide that because we don't actually need them now for the lightning here since we have a 3d generated map the light is coming somewhere so you can see the shadows in here so you can play around whether you wanna see a flat you know light or you know smooth light and you can play with the direction of the light in here horizontally so you can change that and you have a live feedback here and maybe change the vertical light and that's it and now for the uh, light colors this is the way the light is being rendered in here and uh, you know we have the ambient diffuse and specular these are things usually related to 3d rendering uh, softwares but you can have an idea when you change them uh, you can have an idea how they actually affect the the uh, overall look of the uh, image and you, you it's up to you how you want to see it look like okay so uh, let's keep it by default black and there's the overlays in here so if you remember we've said that you can import a base map and uh, place it on the top of this one so that base map uh, you can play around with the resolution in here. You want to see in high res the the maximum is uh, 4096 pixel and uh, Actually this uh, you need to have a good computer uh, good graphics to uh, view that So set it to automatic and surfer will decide what is the best resolution for you to view that uh, based on your graphics and this one here the uh, color uh, modulation is now we have two layers so here you can either view this one only or you can uh, view the uh, the layer that you place on the, top, on the top only or you can blend them together to get some sort of a hybrid image and for the info tab uh, usually you get some infos based on the grid that you've used in here but in 3D uh, maps usually we don't have uh, any infos to view now you can rotate the map you can click on the map if it's 3d map you can click on the map in here and go to view and you can start rotating the map and get it in uh, the way you want it to uh, actually uh, look like but let's say they want something interactive and you want to see it live in here you want to rotate it by yourself you can do that if you go to map tools and then go to trackball of course let's say that you're not selecting anything and you go and it's not possible to pick this one you need to go to the map and go and choose this trackball and now you can see that there's some sort of a, a box that represents your map 
and you can turn it the way you want it to be and if you're happy you just uh, stop there and now you go to home and go to the select tool and move it whatever you want so uh, that's it guys for uh, 3d maps see you in the next video